think everybody should have a DEXA scan. You just have to know this data. You have to know your bone mineral density. Um, I think you have to know how much visceral fat you have. And I think you, you have to know how much muscle mass you have. Obviously, you're also getting body fat, which is important, but it's not as important as those other three. Um, a DEXA scan will either automatically calculate for you or at least give you the data to calculate for yourself, something called the ALMI and the um, FFMI. So um, the ALMI stands for Appendicular Lean Mass Index. And again, sometimes it's just spit out in the report. But if it's not, you would simply go to the report where it shows you lean mass for left leg, right leg, left arm, right arm, and you add those three up make sure they're in kilograms. So if they're in pounds, you have to convert them to kilograms, divide by 2.204, and then divide that by your height in meters squared. And if that's given in inches or feet, you have to make the conversion. So, um, and then you'll get a number, right? It could be eight, nine, 10. If you're a male, uh, you know, five, six, seven, eight, if you're a female. And then there are nomograms that will tell you for your age and for your sex, what percentile you are in. And we want all of our patients to be at or above the 75th percentile for ALMI. Uh, and again, it's, it, it, it's associative data, but it's very strong associative data, which is, look, muscle mass is a great integrator of exercise and strength. So, um, you know, hemoglobin A1C is a metric that is effectively an integral function for glucose. So you, you get this number, 6.5, and it tells you directionally over the last three months, your average blood glucose has been 140 milligrams per deciliter. So the hemoglobin A1C integrated the area under the curve and spit out that number. And similarly, that's effectively what VO2 max, muscle mass, and strength are doing. They are integrators of the work that it takes to have a high VO2 max, to have high muscle mass, to have high strength. And the work that goes into that is the secret sauce. In other words, it's not so much the muscle mass, I think, that is the most important thing. It's what you had to do to get said muscle mass and what that muscle mass will then do vis-a-vis -vis, um, metabolic function. And of course, the implication with respect to the, the functional side of things. So muscle mass and strength are not equivalent. Uh, and when put head to head, strength beats muscle mass as a predictor of lifespan. But all of these things are important metrics to be tracking. Mm -hmm.